Hello, this is Kevin here. And uh, at this point, we're still pretty early in our web development world. We have probably looked at like uh, website builders and that stuff. And you've probably like clicked around a little bit to uh, sort of get your bearings and see what you're getting yourself into. And the next thing that you are going to do is start writing code, start writing HTML code. And in order to write HTML code, you have to use a code editor. Um, so this video will hopefully be pretty short and I'm just going to run through the editor that I recommend using. Um, so I should maybe start by saying there are a ton of code editors. So if you go to your favorite search engine and just type in code editors, you'll you'll get a ton of responses, a ton of results. So Visual Studio is a, is a popular one. Um, there's there, there's a bunch. I, I use one called Atom. Uh, these are editors that you can like download and run as applications like on your on your actual computer. Um, another one is, oh, I don't even know, um, JEdit is kind of an older one, um, but there, there's a bunch, you know, and you could even use something like Notepad or whatever text editor comes with your computer um, and it would work okay. Um, to create HTML files and to have them on your like local computer. But the challenge with that is that you then have to upload your file somewhere in order for someone to be able to, to see it. Um, so you can like email it, for example, and I could download it and look at it that way. But you know, it's, it's 2024. It's kind of annoying to deal with all of that. Um, so a lot of folks are starting to use online code editors, which are editors that you can run directly in your browser. And then the file is already on the internet and you can kind of easily send files basically directly from your editor, um, to whoever. So that's what this page is all about. And so you can read through that if you want. Um, but long story short, I recommend using a online code editor called glitch. Um, there's a bunch of things I like about glitch. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to open up a, a, like a private window just so I'm not logged into anything. And I'm going to just type in glitch. Uh, I might have to be a little more specific. Nope. Right there. It's the second one right here. Um, and you know, I like it for what it is. It's, it's an online code editor, um, but it's also, I don't know, a cool community. And I, I kind of like their vibe and it's kind of fun and, uh, sort of experimental and open source kind of vibes. So, so I, I really like that about them. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways that you can follow them on social media and stuff, but, um, for our purposes, uh, just using it as an editor is, is fine. Uh, so I really like glitch as, as an online editor. Um, so to get started, the first thing that you want to do is go over here to the top right corner and click this, um, sign up button. And Glitch is a little unique in that by default, they don't really have passwords, which I, I haven't really seen uh, in many other places. Um, so if you have like a Google account, you can use that to log in. But the way I would recommend uh, logging in is with this button, this email magic link button. So if you click this, you can type in your email address and that can be, you know, whatever email address you want. If you have a school email address, that's cool. If you have a Gmail address, that's fine. If you have a, I don't know, at hotmail.com or whatever, that's also uh, totally fine as well. Um, but uh, type in your address here, your email address here, and then click send a code. You'll probably have to click this. I'm not a robot button too, but click the send a code button. And then that will send you an email. So go check your email. And in your email, you will have either a link that you can click like directly in your email, or you will have like a few letters or, or, or words to type in. It's basically a password that they send you. It's like a one time use password that expires immediately. Um, so I would recommend logging in through that flow, uh, through the email, emailing a code or emailing a link, uh, flow. So that's logging into glitch. So now I'm going to switch over to my tab where I'm, I'm already logged into glitch. So depending on where you land, you might land here, like on glitches homepage here. Um, or you might land over here on the dashboard. Um, yours will look a little different because you know, I've used glitch a bunch. And so I have projects that are already listed here. Yours will likely be empty. Um, or you'll land on the homepage and 
you're you know free to click around uh there's no nothing stopping you um and so you can click these buttons if you want to you might be tempted to say "Ooh, like i have a basic website here and you know go for it you can click it and glitch is built on this idea of like remixing so people have put together like starter projects and you remix them, which copies them into your own like project, and then you can change it, and then other people can remix yours, and it's it's all that good stuff. Um, so I just remixed the HTML project that's on Glitch, and for me, honestly, I think this is a little overwhelming. Um, I think there's just a lot here. Um, there's like a big long readme file, there's a license file, there's a big old to-do list. Um, it's got HTML and JavaScript and CSS. Like, you know, we haven't even gotten to most of that stuff yet. And the HTML it gives you is like pretty long and has, you know, a bunch of stuff in it. And for, you know, bigger projects or folks who have more experience, that's fine. Um, uh, what I would end up doing, honestly, is probably just deleting it all and just kind of starting from scratch. Um, so with all of that in mind, I actually kind of don't recommend uh, remixing the default things that Glitch gives you. Um, or uh, in I don't recommend like creating your own project. So if I go up to here, new project, I, I can also do this, which is basically doing the same thing. Um, I don't really recommend doing that. Um, instead, I have created a starter template, which is just a little uh, more straightforward than the thing they give you. Like they call it a basic website. I, I don't think it's a basic website. So I have created my own version of a template, which you can then uh, remix and it gives you, you know, uh, more of a foundational start. Um, so you can click this big link here, uh, remix happy coding's HTML template. Hi, I'm happy coding. Um, or you can also open the template. So I'm actually going to open the template first just to sort of see what that looks like. Um, I might end up needing to do this in a, in a private window or not, but no, it's actually fine. Um, so it's loading the, um, the project and this is my copy of it. So you won't be able to edit it, but you can click this remix button here in the upper right and that will copy it over into your copy of the, of the project and then you can do whatever you want with it. Um, or if you, uh, you know, you can go there and click the remix button, or you can save yourself one step by clicking directly here. Um, so I want to click that. And that's doing the exact same thing as if I had clicked the remix button, I literally just copied the same link. Um, and what this is doing is copying that starter code into my own project. And that gives me uh, a few things to notice here. So by default, Glitch names it something silly. Um, so it gives you like a unique combination of of words um, that is like the identifier of the of the project. So this is basically the URL of the project. You can change that in the settings if you want to. So if I go to Edit Project Details, I can change this. So I can call this like My Great Website. It will yell at you if um, if someone has already taken that. So if I try this, I'm guessing someone has already had that. No, they haven't. Wow, my great website has never been taken before. Um, so you can't have it. Um, so you can change that if you want to, you don't have to, the default is fine, it's all good. Um, that will end up in the URL eventually. Um, but this is like my copy of the of my remixed version of the starter code. And we will talk more about like exactly what is going on with the code here, but just to orient you, what I'll say is the the editor here, the glitch editor, which we're looking at, is split into three sections. Um, so over here on the left is your files um, and settings and stuff. Um, so right now I only have a single file, index.html. It's an HTML file. Um, and clicking on it doesn't really do anything because that's already open over here. So this is the editor which is currently open to the index.html file. Um, and then over here on the right, there is basically a preview of, um, of what that code ends up looking like. Um, you can also click around down here in the bottom to like turn some stuff on and off. So I think if I click this, the preview might go away. Yeah, I can close it, I can open it. So if something goes away and you're like, oh no, where'd that go? Don't panic, it's probably you know down here on, on that bar down there. Um, so if I say open preview pane, 
there it is it's not gone forever um so the way glitch sort of works is you know it's a it's a code editor so i can type anything i want in here and so maybe what i'll do is i'll just say i'll change this world to kevin so hello kevin and you know i haven't really talked about you know what this html actually is that'll be a, a different video but what i will see is i'll see it over here on the right here um and it's sort of automatically reflect reflected so i'll say maybe this is like hello uh person uh, whoops uh clicked the wrong thing so hello uh person watching this video and notice like as i type the preview over on the right is automatically updating um, i have a tendency to spam Control s no matter what but glitch saves it automatically so you don't really need to do that um, so that's glitch sort of editing in glitch um, you have your file uh, tab over there on the left you have your editor in the middle and then you have your preview on the right so you can type your code into the editor here and then you can see your changes sort of live that way. Um, and now let's say I want to share my project with the world, um, which if you are handing in an assignment to me, um, this is what you'll wanna do. Um, so if I go here to share, uh, this will give me a couple of links. I can either link people to the live site. So if I click, um, I can either like copy and paste this, which is a URL, to my website um, or I can click this button so if I open that in a new tab I'm just going to paste it in um, here is the the website the web page that I just wrote in glitch and it's at this like live URL which you know anyone can go to I can post that on you know my favorite social media or, or send it to my grandma or whatever um, or I can hand it in as an assignment um, so that's the first um, link that it gives you. So that's the live site here. The other uh, thing that it gives me is a link to the code. So I can also share the code. Um, it doesn't really matter because you can get, like, if you have one, you can get to the other because the URLs are, they, they use that um, uh, that unique identifier, that those three random words that it gave you. Um, so, you know, if you have those, you can get to whichever thing you want. But uh, if I copy this and send it to someone or submit that, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, it actually just looks like the thing that we just had open. So it's just a, a, a link to the editor itself. Um, so you might be a little nervous, like, oh no, if I send someone a link to my code, does that mean they can change it? And no, don't worry. Um, so I'll switch over to a private window where I'm not logged in and I'll paste in that same link to the editor and I'll show you what that looks like. So now I'm, I'm basically looking at this view, um, not as me logged in so this is what you know a random person would see and you can see up here in the upper right corner it says remix to edit that means that if i want to change this you know i can't type anything in here um if i want to change it i have to remix it which is creating a copy of it that i can then change so i'm not changing the original so that's the whole idea of glitch is these remixes um, so i won't actually do that because it'll just sort of you know you've already seen that flow um, so that is glitch in a nutshell i think um that's pretty much everything you need to know for now um there are other things that we will eventually do uh in glitch and we will get there in good time but for now um if you want to maybe bookmark these um these links here um and i'll also include them you know whenever you need them uh, later um but that is creating a project or remixing a project in Glitch and then editing it a little bit and then uh, sharing it. So that's the flow that you'll that you'll go through. Um, if you're still here, then I would recommend checking out Glitch, um, not just as an editor, but like uh, the kinds of things they do. So um, I don't know, they're a pretty cool organization and um, they do a lot of fun stuff. So I, I recommend just kind of clicking through and, and seeing like, you know, checking out them out on social media and whatnot um because i don't know they're they're cool folks and uh i think it's a lot of fun um but for us um you know the editor sticking the sticking with the editor is cool too all right that's all i wanted to do i wanted to quickly introduce uh glitch and hopefully that helps and i will see you in the next one when we will uh, actually start writing html so that's exciting all right see you then